Hey everyone, how are you all doing? Okay, so before we get into this, let's say, start by saying everything I say in this video is my opinion and mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's just get into this video head first. Okay, so let's start off with a little bit of James Charles, shall we? Um, so... I did a quick update on James Charles last night, James Charles last night, and he had posted about him and Morph going their separate ways. Um, I posted his sort of thing about that and where he's gone from holding himself accountable to suing in a fortnight. Well done, James Charles. How to make you look even worse than you did already. Good action. Um, what I didn't post... Oh, before we go into that, there has been... Um, something that YouTube has done. And... I was trying to look up for YouTube channels on Twitter. Because I know you can add Team YouTube and all that. And I came across, um, what is it called? YouTube Creators. And they have a video. And this video generally outlines about AdSense, money, earning money on YouTube, and how you can get demonetized. Um, or just have your monetization taken away short term or full term I will insert that video here true or false a creator can get demonetized or suspended from YouTube even though their videos didn't break community guidelines what do you think if you said true you're right, and although it's rare, you may have seen it happen in recent years. In this video, I want to tell you about YouTube's Creator Responsibility Initiative, something you may have seen in the news but not fully understood. First, for some background, as a YouTube creator, you're sometimes seen as a representative of the platform and a member of this giant influential community. The more popular you get, the more you're probably called a YouTuber. And the more you help represent the whole global community of creators. Not to mention, you're probably admired by many smaller creators who would love to achieve your level of success. So, not to sound all dad-like here, but you might say that with great popularity comes great responsibility. It becomes your responsibility, along with every YouTube creator, to help us keep the ecosystem healthy. Now, if the things you do and say as such a representative are really reckless, dangerous, inappropriate, on video or not, you can actually cause damage to YouTube and its millions of creators by hurting their reputation and revenue. Why? Because YouTube and advertisers don't want to be associated with that level of craziness. And when advertisers pull their spend, everybody loses. That's why YouTube has this creator responsibility initiative, where even if a creator's videos don't explicitly violate the community guidelines, there's a whole team of experts who weigh in on whether action is taken on a channel. And the penalties can include demonetization of a channel temporarily or permanently. This means a creator can still upload but can't make any ad revenue. It can include restriction of videos in YouTube recommendations, like on the home page, trending tab, and or the watch next section, and even loss of support from that creator's partner manager. Now, again, these situations are rare and often temporary. Privileges are usually given back after a period of time and good behavior. So that's how it works, and I hope this helps explain some of the headlines you see occasionally. If this would never be an issue for you, Thanks for being a great representative of YouTube and its creators. So, that's that. What are your thoughts on it? Please do comment down below. Um, do you think this is because of what happened with James Charles? Do you think this could be from the actions of also other 
creator such as without a crystal ball and so many others that I could mention right now but my head has gone blank so I can't but um yeah what's your thoughts then last night I posted about James Charles announcing that he was cutting ties with Mo or Mo cutting ties with him Either way, he tried to make it sound like it was um, on friendly terms. I hadn't realised at the time, though, that Morph had put out their own statement. And let me just pull this up a moment. It says, in light of recent allegations against James Charles, Morph and James have agreed to end our business relationship and wind down the sale of the Morph, Morph X. James Charles product offering. It is and always has been Morph's goal to create a positive, safe and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics and Morph is committed to furthering that goal. So in other words, you're a danger to our community. Go away. No? Anyone else? That's just how I, how I see it anyway. Um, and while I was on Twitter, I was once again looking at um, James's Twitter account and the post that he put out last night. And I was also looking at some of the comments on his post. And someone had commented, um, you should come talk to us or are you busy playing Mario Kart? James responded with, I'm in the car right now. Hi, babe. What's up? Then there were some responses to that. You may be a bit too old for him. He's too busy preying on little boys. Gross. I hope you're aware that he's a known child monster. I don't know what to say. So that video from YouTube could be in relation to that. It could also be in relation to what Without a Crystal Ball does frequently. It couldn't even just be the both combined. So. That's it for James Charles. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Let's have a conversation. And let's get on to the next subject, shall we? Okay, so next. Jeffree Star. Absolutely shocking news yesterday that he was in a car accident. Uh, my heart and my thoughts go out to him and his friend. Um, there are some pictures that have been posted about the car. It could be a lot worse. Thank goodness it could be a lot worse. Jeffrey has been discharged from hospital. He has broken his back and there's going to be some recovery time needed. His friend on the, the other hand is still in hospital. So I'm asking if you, if you pray, this guy could really use your prayers. If not, 
then please, please keep him in your heart and keep him in your thoughts tonight. He has some internal bleeding. He has survived cancer three times. I do believe there is a reason this guy is on the earth and you got this, Danielle. You 100% have this. You're going to be fighting fit before you know it. You beat cancer for a reason. Keep going, boy. I will say that there are some despicable people in this world. Some comments that have been given to and about Jeffrey and Daniel have been beyond disgusting. Who do you think you are? If you made these comments, why do you feel you're any better? To wish someone was no longer on this earth is enough to make me so angry. If you made any comments like this and you're sick, I'm sorry. And there's another comment. Let me just pull this up because I don't want to mistake in how I read this. Mistake how I read it. I'm happy you're both safe. If you could help share and share the love and retweet my pinned, I'm desperately need a miracle right now. So the person who wrote this post, how self-absorbed and selfish do you have to be? Yes, you may be in desperate need. Jeffrey and his friend have just been in a car accident and you're asking for help? Do you honestly think that he is going to log on to his Twitter and give you money? Because that's clearly what you're hoping for. Between these people who think that they can go over to someone's Twitter and start begging for money. What right do you honestly believe you have to go onto someone's Twitter, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and ask for money? There are millions of people all over the world right now struggling because of what is going on all over the world. How many of them do you see begging for money? I know I got a bit cheesed off with Jeffree Star Cosmetics web channel um, not allowing me to buy my mystery boxes. And... I really wanted those mystery boxes, let me tell you. And I am devastated that I didn't get them. My Jeffree Star t-shirt, I could live in all day, every day. It's so comfy. It is like the most comfiest t-shirt that I own. And if it wasn't the fact it needs wash it, I'd probably live in the damn thing. But I don't smile, so i got to wash it. And I need to wear other clothes in between too, because otherwise I just look stupid and poor. Um, I am poor. Okay, I just look stupid. Hey, but I look stupid anyway. <laughs> so. Don't go going to Jeffree Star's Twitter and ask him for money. The guy's got my medical expenses to pay now. His own. And Daniel is going through probably hell right now. And I can imagine how scared Jeffrey is for his friend. So 
So, like I said, I will put the receipts and that 